And let's put my Crocs on because I took them off apparently to go walk across the room. Counterintuitive. Where in the time stream did Dis Art Life have a divergence from the one where she made R34 art? Makes you wonder. <gasps> okay, <clears throat> I'm going to just throw this idea. You know how I talk to you guys about making the bookmarks? Bookmarks kind of look like body pillows. What if one of those pieces, of, what if we made Cinemius a, a linoleum stamp, like a block, and we made a run of prints that was like a naughty wisp on the bed with like her butt up, like they do with the, the little anime. <laughs> uh, and then the other side would be Zato Excalibur with his finger over his nipple ring has to be <laughs> uh, apparently this is a <laughs> divergence warframe r34 is gonna happen maybe sooner than we all thought <laughs> oh crap day but it's slowly getting better when i see you because you know at least you can't take those crappy co-workers home with you hey yo all right and second cam <laughs> Okay, this is where I do my hand charades. Burk. Burk. Live long and prosper. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I got this one. I got this one. I got this one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's snake. Doc, you came in at just the right time. Hand puppets. <laughs> no? Hm. Well, hand puppets. <laughs> Elephant next. Oh, I don't know that one. I know a uh, turtle and like a little sea turtle. <laughs> Stepping away for break. All right, no, by there. We will be here when you get back. Let me... Why does it seem like it's washing it out all of a sudden? Because I'm flailing my arms about. That's about right. You're asking which one I would raise an eyebrow for. Octavia or Valkyrie are more my type. But I would take Titania first if I could choose. I <laughs> Oh, man. All right. First things first, I need to remove all of my my little my pins here. We're gonna remove them all. We'll put them all back on in like a half hour. <laughs> Ooh, in probably an hour. Let's just be realistic. I'm gonna want to hand sew both of them up before pinning one up again. Na -da -da. I put this these pins on when I was watching an anime. doesn't take too long to do and we'll even try to keep them in this uh, almost like hoop like orientation toss them off to the side one naked pocket square or pocket tie I could few ask me but I don't want to get my heart oh gosh yeah no no no, no. co-work GTFO GTFO Never take work home with you like that. Unless you've put in your two weeks notice. <laughs> and let... <laughs> I'm sorry, my two weeks notice. It was for the company, but it also was for the employees. <laughs> uh, is it bad? Did not find coming into Dis's doing a hand puppet straight. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay, it's hand puppet time. It's fine. <laughs> Completely expected this. <sighs> I'm going to see if I can do everything today by just sitting on this chair. Oh, speaking of things that came in, this has nothing to do with things that came in. 
the uh, ties for our core set came in. I have not seen if these will... Boop. Well, these should be long enough. And they came in a two-pack. That's good, because we're going to have a core set up the back of my neck as well. So I am going to <clears throat> kind of hook you guys on the back of here. I anticipate only needing one of them, but I've always thought it was cool. The core sets that laced up one side and then laced up like from the top and the bottom and met in the middle. We'll see. We shall see. They uh, will stay with the core set. Hello, Bliker. Welcome on in. Um, we'll put these up here for now. I need some black thread. So before I insert the bias tape in this section here, I need to do a stay stitch. Um, what we did not do is we, when we sewed the tool to the black fabric, we did not so the lining to this inside cut once we cut them together so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take a needle and thread and i am maybe an eighth to a quarter of an inch away from the cut i'm just going to run a straight stitch uh right through it just to kind of keep i can pull the gauntlet of spikes out and then start manipulating and uh putting in my bias tape that we made on monday I did it with a few nurses and a few interns. Dun dun dun. Although, Dennis, the body pillow bookmark is a good idea. I would totally get a Bishop bookmark for my Tanya books. <gasps> oh, that would be cute. Bishop, Bishop saving the spot on your saga of Tanya the Evil book. Oh, that would be cute. That would be cute. <laughs> I won't need more than one pin for this. <gasps> oh no! There it is. After last uh, stream, I didn't put Stitch's whisker away properly. I just kind of left it up here. Oops. And here I am, not going to be putting it away properly. I'm going to stick it in my mannequin. Yeah, I definitely won't forget about it there. Considered forgotten. Realize how much of a weave I am. I honestly, after watching the Chainsaw Man trailer, I have a feeling that Chainsaw Man is going to be blown up at the convention that we're going to go to in June. So I would be stupid to not have a Chainsaw bookmark be one of the first uh, booth, like, Attempts or whatever product shenanigans, you know, creations. Just because I have a feeling for the, like, the age group and, yeah, I just have a feeling. I got a feeling. Ooh, ooh, that Chainsaw Man is going to be insane this summer. Because if the anime drops in the fall, you know, everybody's got to get their chainsaw heads done. <laughs> I'm not gonna just... Oh, kids. Kids, kids, kids. We have seven minutes left in our first Stream Raiders battle. If you'd like to play see and it's on the battlefield, please use that link I just dropped into chat now. I'm right-handed, so we're gonna rotate this around a bit. Da -da -da. <clears throat> and I am going to... little hand sewing. Reason we're not using the machine, nor am I worrying about hiding this knot, uh, is we covered up by bias tape, but also my machine would not be able to 
it'd be more of a hassle than it would anything else. So, no hassle here. Unfortunately, though, hand sewing does take a little bit more of my concha. <laughs> Get a focus. I don't want any of the pieces of string to have any tension differences. I see that there's one, and I don't know if it's part of the tie. Since I'm here, we will. Yes, it was part of the tie. Okay. Everything to be smooth, no bumps, no lumps, not cottage cheese. So I'm just carefully weaving my needle through. Oop, those are two. Far away from, there we go. And I'll put my thumb kind of back here in the loop of the thread. That way when it does get pulled taut, if there are any like awkward slack in my thread, I can fix it before it meets my fabric. We're trying some different tunes too this morning. just means that the thread has shifted in the eye hole of my needle. It happens. It'll get stuck on one of the needles that I have in. Actually, I should remove the needles. I don't need any more. Some of the thread, too, is getting caught up on the different texture of my tool. I don't want to pucker the fabric by pulling it too tight. Let's remove these. I'm in love with three female fringe. Uh, wife, wife two, wife three. Oh, that's what you named them for their loadout? Oh man. <clears throat> Three frames, you say. Interesting. Is Mesa one of them? Mesa, Mirage, and Ember. Nyx, Wisp. I'm trying to like just think of some of them that would. I'll cure her too, yeah, 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 I forgot about her. Cure. to make sure that I'm not bunching things up. I'm gonna loosen up the back stitches just a bit. <laughs> this 
this some very calming music for what I'm doing. we didn't surge this inside line it is important that we hide it sooner than later because it's starting to poop everywhere hand up the uh, needle gauntlet here. <clears throat> One second, please. Let me get our needle around this side here. actually going to do a double back or back stitch on that end. Come back up. Awesome. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's head over to our Stream Raiders battle. Saren Prime Cora in her Arusha. Skin, Cora in her Arusha skin. Yureli! With the alt helmet. With the alt helmet. <laughs> With the alt helmet. We won't accept her in any other way. Alright, Raiders, we have 54 allies on the field for our Toon Skull Desert Hold. Let's. Hmm. I had a flying Cenemius in the background. Was it a rogue? Let's see, can I make your rogue super fast? A super fast rogue and a super fast popcorn. What more do you want in your meal? If we get uh, enough friends playing stream raiders, maybe we'll pop into some verses. Or dungeons. What's going on now? Bones are verses, keys are dungeons. It's bones. Open up that captain's chest. Already have 20 gold to Cenemius for 11 kills and 7 assists. Then we're going to randomly give out Ox, the healer scroll, and Wayne Weasel, the three archer scrolls. Let's see. We got verses here. Complete a match and earn three keys. I uh, will drop into this one. If you guys are feeling a little adventurous and want to drop into a versus match, I'm not opposed to it since we are upstairs today. But I do know that verses come with a whole different kit and caboodle. A whole different set of Kavats and Kubros. <laughs> All right, Raiders. Let's put our units up at the top. Why not? Why not? And I'll click on the right view. Look at me getting better at this. It will be a minute before I can join your verses. Can only be with one. Oh, that does make. Oh. And you're you're with Ova Divu, Ova Divas, Divu, Divuis. <laughs> I 
think there's only about five hours to left on versus. And again, we will be doing more Warframe tomorrow. So if we've got some, some Tenno that have dropped in place that lurk right now for stream and you're wondering i'll have platinum for you guys tomorrow during stream stream time tomorrow will be at noon <laughs> i've got my alarm set today is the five year anniversary for the warframe international stream so at three o'clock we will open up a tab. They've got a like grab bag going on. I'm hoping for Forma. I'm hoping for Forma. <laughs> Been using a lot of Forma as of late. And then tomorrow after our stream, we'll end up just raiding into the Warframe stream. Start getting our watch drops at 6. Trying not to stick my finger. Also, what we'll do too is just flip the needle over and use the back end that doesn't have the actual point to assist with pulling out any too taut spacings. There we go. doing a quick and tidy stay stitch again around the perimeter before we start tacking down. Now, I could have glued this. True. But that would add so much bulk and to have to continuously sew through glue is just annoying. So, I opted to take a minute or 10. <laughs> these. And see there. Now they are stitched together. <laughs> and I can take this. And before I even do the sides, I want to tack down the center. I'm gonna fold my bias tape. And I am going to feed it Now, for this part, I will be using pins to tack it in place. Oh, I can just use these guys right here. Because uh, I want, I really want, I want this to be a perfect miter. And so often I see it and it's like a loop. No, I want it to be like a very awesome geograph. Like, I just want it, I want it to work. Dang it. And I know that it can. I just gotta figure out not to headbutt you guys. 
Yellow Bun, I'm a head out. All right, Novi Bear, thank you so much for stopping by. Please enjoy the rest of your day. If I just have to figure out how one weaves that ink, I've done it before. Gotta figure out the magical 99% slow on gloom. Never too old to learn something. So let's see here. Double fold bias tape around inside corners. This would be a Those are for 90 degree corners. How to bind inverted corners with bias tape. That's what I want to know. <laughs> I want to know, so they've got one here. I want to know how to do that top one. So let's see here. First method. this get me? Well, that's different. Okay, hold up. Alright, so this is what we got. I got that. I got that. I got that. Oh. 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 I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> um, okay. Hmm. Okay. So it's telling me that for my bias tape here, what I gotta do is stitch it on like a crazy angle. not know that that was the way this goes. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little, uh, where's my pencil? We're learning new things. <laughs> like, I need to sew on a Oh no, it doesn't go to a point, it goes in. Flip it over, didn't happen, I didn't do that one. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I know nothing. Using the fold, use the fabric, draw and trace the angle of your V. Oh, my V is... Like that. <laughs> Hello, I roll up my t-shirt sleeves. How are you doing today? Okay, so it does need to V in. And it does look like they uh, they dropped it down. Okay. For sewing purposes. Hey. So we'll leave it at an inch. You roll up my shirt sleeves, cheered X10. I'm back with the challenge of rolling up your t-shirt sleeves all the way and to keep them up all stream long. For 10 biddies. No, that's not a challenge that I'm going to get down on. I appreciate it, but... 
we are literally at the one hour of a six hour stream as I'm working for my TwitchCon cosplay submission. So I'm gonna stay comfortable. <laughs> but I uh, I appreciate the the 10 biddies. Um, but I am respectfully trying to work on hitting up a mitered edge with a literal reverse reverse uh, corner here um, and we are finding out that we're gonna actually have to stitch it down cut into our bias tape and then liter invert it um, so we're gonna take this and we are going to uh, Let's go down like we're gonna need it at like an extreme angle. That's that's what I'm nervous about. Is trying to figure out exactly what that angel is. There we go. Cinemia said that they would take on that challenge on my on my on my behalf. Thank you so much, Cinemia, for rolling up your t your t-shirt sleeves for you for me. If you could please leave them rolled up <laughs> for the remainder of my stream. Ooh. All that armpit funk all up in those those sleeve sleeveys. Um, and then we're gonna take this one here. Yeah, we're just gonna have to make it an extreme diagonal, like diom, diom. Um, let's see here. Damn. Okay, so if we... We're going to come in off of here like a, an eighth of an inch. We drop it down a whole inch and a half? No, inch and a half would be too well. But if it was an inch, that would still make for a very... Dramatic dramatic V, if you will. <laughs> it's funny, doing this image 98% uh, slow hits the acclaims. Continues hitting them with my whip claw. Oh, she's just so powerful. It's not her fault. Hello! Okay, well, <laughs> we've got to do this to one, we've got to do it to two, but I want to make sure that this one isn't... I'm not going to ruin it by doing this. Um, I need to scoot things over. Aha. I need to give you guys like your own. <laughs> Let me move some things out of the way. I got my camera set up according to uh, Thomas's recommendation. I've got our clicker ready to go, so I shouldn't have to sight things up all the time. But I want to see if I can. Make a little uh, impromptu table underneath for my keyboard. And uh, I should probably take a photo as we are trying to set this all up. Did have it brought out a bit then, huh? Perfect. <laughs> and we will leave you right here. Completely not in the way, but in the way. Oh, that is gonna so be in the way. All right, let's just take then the moths off the top. Ha ha! Now I can tuck you guys down there and out of sight, out of mind. Well, I mean, not out of mind. You guys are always on my mind. But I need more room. <laughs> oh. I didn't want to roll that off. Nope, nope, nope. I 
just wanted to scoot everything over. And for the time being, we're gonna head over here because I am going to move this out of my way. Move this out of my way. Move this into my way. <laughs> Still set up with black thread, so that's yay. Yay! Don't have to worry about that one. And we'll plug this in here. I have to blow my nose. I've got the sniffles. Pardon me. We're just going to... Uh, Anybody else tries to uh, blow their nose with a nose ring. Some days prove a little bit more challenging than others. And I never get by them. They're so slow, by the time they hit me, they are dead. Enemies didn't see what was coming to them. Wah ha 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 ha. Alright. I am going to uh, put a needle in the top of this. So that I won't have any problem like pulling it through my machine and let's here we go I will bring my needle down on my own there we go uh, pull that one out do you want to make sure that it's We should do one across the top. There we go. And then bring it down. Ooh. Okay, we're good. Whew, I thought it had folded on me. I was like, oh no. So, cool thing is, if this doesn't work, I've got to recut this whole entire piece. and re-iron it down and all of that. So, we are taking a chance right now, and I am hoping for the best. <laughs> uh, if you'd also like to see, I definitely am using the first website that I clicked on. Hmm. stronger scissors. Those ones are just not cutting through the suiting with ease. So we're cutting out the cavity that was in the center. Kinda looks the same. <laughs> oh! Epiphany! And then when I... Oh! I get what we do now. I get it. <laughs> I get it now. Oh. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be that's perfect. <laughs> Let's do it again. Gross question, but have you ever sneezed and it just dangles off? Yes. I have ran Sidious Gaming. Uh, not when, no, it doesn't, it doesn't hang off like that. No, I've, uh, I've 
and like it's not like ooh I sneezed and there's a boogie. Uh, no, uh, when I go to blow my nose and like I know that I've got mucus and snot inside my nasal cavity, when I go to force it from my snout, uh, <laughs> and like I think I've wiped it all away, if I look in the mirror, sometimes there'll be like a little residual booger wrapped around. I'll be like, oh well, you can't stay there now, can you? <laughs> um, that's about what I what I experience. <laughs> you wanted to know, damn it. <laughs> A little residual boogie. The technical term. I did it on the wrong side. Dang it, I was doing all those markings. Wrong side. All right, let's do this again. know why I was expecting a grosser question to come out of that but that I want to dispose it in. <laughs> uh. Twitch Nace Pink just subscribed. Good morning. Pink, good morning to you. Nanners, if you can hear me, good morning to you too. By the way, which one's pink? Thank you so much for your continued uh, continued subs. I hope you're doing well. I know, uh, TwitchCon. Hopefully I can get this done, and, uh, <laughs> you'll be like, oh, Dis, so that's what you, uh, spend most of your time doing. That's stupid. <laughs> how, uh, how has your week been so far? Ooh, I almost cut my finger with that. That would have been not... Oh, why am I putting my scraps up there? I've got a little mini trash can. And a whole bunch of poop right there. I am now doing 410, so I have a day off during the week. Oh, that's got to be so nice. You can feel like you can adult, get some things done, or just take a nap. <laughs> or just take an extra long nap. And watch out. Swinging things around, moving things about, dragging you guys to a different view now. All right, so what I did just there was I went and I stitched on a backwards triangle. Oop, 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 doop, doop. Sorry, I was a. Uh, I thought I was, but I was here. And you came. Ah! Uh, <laughs> there we go. I uh, stitched it and then I cut, and so. I almost feel like I'm origami when I fold it. The opposite way, I get that nice mitered angle that we want. Lo and behold. <laughs> huh. So cool. <laughs> Little things. So cool. Now which side looks the best? That's going to be the side that goes down first. Uh, and since this has a little bit of a... Yeah, we're just going to trim. Trim some of that down. We don't need it all. Just put 
at 287.6 strength. God roll, saw, saw, chance, crit, melee, math. Sorry, you put all of that in there and all my brain computed was, that's a whole lot of math. <laughs> Alright, now I am going to insert... I should probably iron that. I should probably iron that. Dang it. Why are we trying to do things correctly? People like it best when you cut corners, Dis. They don't want to see you do things as you're supposed to. Ooh, I just made a big mess over there with... <laughs> Hmm, didn't expect that to happen. I thought I'd just be able to pull up those little dark pieces, but, uh, nope. <laughs> um, well, let's stitch that guy then. And then I'll iron the pieces down. Stupid clips everywhere. Wednesday. We are halfway through the work week. Halfway through the work week. Righteous! So, can you guys believe that that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard bullshit's still going on? I'm a little bit shocked that it's still going on. It's not even a good soap, soap opera anymore to watch. Like, it's just... I'm over it. They've gotta be, too. My Gloom Cora. Rest of the numbers are the Zaw. I picked up a Zaw a Riven the other day. <sighs> there might come a day where I go through them all. But in the meantime, I may or may not have just picked up more Zaw mod spots. Now, in a lot of the tie pocket designs that I was reading about, they use the bias tape as the waistband, and I, I'm going to use twill tape. I just have a, a feeling it will be a little bit more um, sturdy. against my rough wear. Why? 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 Stop. Stop that thread. Stop that. Whew. The court of public opinion made up their minds a long time ago. We, Johnny... I gotcha. I was just like... <laughs> Can we just not have her in Aquaman and call it a day? Like, I don't, I don't gotta... Do they sign paperwork saying that they will never be in a relationship, either of them, with anybody else ever again? Because... Like, ooh! I do like how many times object hearsay object hearsay um, stream raiders battle ah yes 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 oh no I mean yes on the stream raiders battle but no on there being a uh, not in my thread where'd you come from 
Who told you you could stay there? Because you can't. No vacancy. Oh, right. Stream Raiders. Here we go. I played uh, Kripath Riven for 60 plat yesterday. I think I picked up one of those, too. It's like the Zaw that's got like the... I don't know. I'll have to see. I'll have to actually check. All right, my raiders, we've got 75 allies on the field for a two skull battle. Let's give ranged a little bit of a fighting shot here, and we'll dive on in. First initial stitch a little too taut, so I am. There we go. Going back through to even it all out. Opening up the captain's chest. We've got 20 gold going to Boo for six kills and three assists. Turn of them randomly grant. Ooh, Vice D Wolfwood. 15 gold. Moving right along. Hmm. We might go up to a four skull. Ooh, pardon my yawn. We'll go to a one skull. Hydrate, dishydrate. Can't use the centurion just yet. Let's put a flag bearer on the field, and I will try my best to give you guys blessing. Buffing you. With all of my buffingness. All right, Raiders, you know what to do. Exclamation point battle if you need the link to our stream, Raiders. Stame Nov, hello. How are you? What are you up today? So today we are diving into our Magda cosplay again. I am hand sewing our pockets. We just tried, we just did a new technique. We either would have had to throw away the bias tape and start anew, or it was going to work. Uh, I think it's going to work. So we're learning new things. Original band with no vacancy. That's cool. That's cool. That's a cool band name. No vacancy. What's the name of your band? No vacancy. No, dude. Like, I, I wanted to know what the name of your band is. No, the name of our band is no vacancy. But we also don't have any vacancies either. I don't know why I gave him, like, a burnout accent <laughs> so again if you're just dropping by I am stay stitching trying to make sure that the outside and inside fabric are tacked together that way, when I go and put the edging in, the border, the double fold bias tape, if you will, my fabric won't slip and slide away from each other. That'll stay in the orientation I want it to. Just making sure that we don't have any irregular irregularities in our stitches. It's like a bar called Puzzles. Why is it called Puzzles? 
that's the puzzle. There was a bar I went to in Lansing, Michigan years ago called the Tin Can. I thought it was wild because they also predominantly only sold beverages in aluminum like tin cans and I was like wow that's that's some that's clever that's clever they had like life-size Jenga an entire board that you could draw on I remember because some one of the patrons drew a large sublime sun in the corner of it it was very cool Thank you so much, uh, Jockey, Loki, LOL. I'm trying to like scoot myself forward, but my Crocs keep being a bumper and not letting me get closer to the table. <laughs> Thank you so much for your follow. Hello, Psychozalia. Happy Wednesday. Did everybody eat tacos for Taco Tuesday yesterday? We didn't. I made, well, you'll see what I made because we'll be having it for lunch. But I made some meatballs and a pasta. Oh, that tool just really throws me. Sometimes I think it's the tool that's bunching up and really it's the thread and then vice versa. Vice versa. Come on. Pull the pin. Got it. Gotcha. Uh, hi, Dis. Long time no see. I've watched some of your videos, but never got to do much. Also, I like to sew clothing, but never gotten into it. Oh, well, thank you so much for watching, lurking, hanging out with us. Yeah, I have a... What started with mere clothing, because I think one of the first pieces I sewed was a Pokemon dress, like just a straight fabric for an everyday dress. And then we started doing Renaissance Festival stuff. And then I was like, well, hold on, I need a cloak. <laughs> and then once you've got one cloak, you need six more. Uh, We are doing 17th, 18th century pocket ties at this current moment. Over my shoulder, you can see the corset, the under corset for our cosplay that we made last week. We'll finish it up next week. I uh, Those boning ends chat should be in tomorrow. Ooh, got it stuck on you guys. Should be in tomorrow uh, into the P.O. Box. Maybe I can persuade Sinemius to possibly stop by the P.O. Box on their way home to pick up the, the camera stand, um, camera arm. That way you guys will be mounted not on the uh, monitor screen. It was fine. The lighting was a little off. But we made do with our setup yesterday. Original Phoenix. Oh! I'm about to rename my Zaw again. Name your Zaw Dami Dis. Dami Mommy Dis. Oh, there's not enough characters for that, is there? <laughs> uh, that's a neat Original Phoenix. Is that what you're working on? Is an original Phoenix build? Oh, well. Gonna cost you dearly. Cost you a, you, you, a boob, right? <laughs>
I'll make dinner again tonight. <laughs> Actually, it costs chat dearly. They're the ones that need the new mounting system. <laughs> Get our gaming on tomorrow. And again, Tenno, we will be having platinum to give away. Currency of digital extremes in Warframe during tomorrow's Warframe stream. <laughs> One Facebook burger! If that booty is not popping in the air, I don't want it. <laughs> uh, I I do I I would like to do a saga of Tanya themed bookmark. But I think the first one I'm going to have to do for anime fandom wise is going to be Chainsaw Man Cinemius with the new series dropping in the fall and with JFAX just around the corner. I have a feeling the Chainsaw Man bookmarkers would be a hit at the booth, which also reminds me too, we need to order more anime prints because we ran out of some at the last convention. Yeah, yeah. I should also look into getting the oil markers. I had a convention goer stop by my booth, and when they picked up a print, I asked them if they wanted it signed. They said yes, but not with your metallic sharpies. Can you do it with my paint markers? And I was like, sure. Permanent, like oil-based paint markers. They dr they dried fairly quickly too, and they came in a variety of different colors. I'm sure Amazon's got something like that I can pick up. Because I was uh, signing, he, they wanted me to sign the Moxie print with pink, and it was, oh, it was perfect. It was perfect, I tell you. I'm trying not to get any... There we go. I don't want you guys pulled too taut. I tried to name your Zaw, but there's not enough... How many characters do I get? Shipwrecker will eat its heart. Once I got my, uh, once I get my game straightened out, I'll be streaming. Also, I hope everyone gets a juicy burger sometime. Also, if you need some good anime shows, I know some. Oh, I am an anime connoisseur. Uh, we <laughs> we spout off our opinion on current anime almost uh every stream <laughs> Tuesdays are are the crappy days nothing good drops on Crunchyroll on Tuesdays try to prove me wrong I'm standing by those guns nothing good comes out on Tuesdays Monday is the sentence of a bookworm Saturday is a spy X family I even enjoyed the dating sim that drops on Sundays. <laughs> Mon or Wednesdays today is Komi-san on Netflix. Were and are are completely different because last season there were, this season there are not. <laughs> and no matter what, nobody can convince me that Shikamori or whatever is more than just a cutie is a good anime. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. If you want me to, I'll create a Zaw just for you to... I actually have a Zaw, a fantastic Zaw, that I ended up making after... Um, was it after Nabris? Oh goodness, I made, I made a mess. <laughs> I don't know what I did, but I probably shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. 
interesting choice here, Dis. No! Didn't want that frickin' frack. <sighs> I pulled and it just bunched all of this. sewing <laughs> typical nobody was released on Tuesday oh that one gets released on Tuesday I mean that's still not a great one but I mean if we're if we're looking for a B team of an anime that one's not horrible but it's not it's not like oh my goodness now I will say one of the anime this season that surprised me is that heroine idol Girl, there is so much character development in that one, I was taken aback. Hello, Jeff and Cinemius. Pink's like, did you guys know that I've been creeping here? What we what we didn't know, Cinemius, is that Pink's working on their TwitchCon cosplay. Pink and Nanners are going to do a uh, a group cosplay. <laughs> that was a lie. <laughs> I'm still only uh, seeing out of one eye. Ooh. Ooh. Jeff, eyeballs are important. Ooh. Please be careful, my friends. <laughs> All right. Tied a knot. And what I do is I will tie a knot in my string before I go to cut. Oh, hopefully I do it better though next time than that one. That was... Oh! Well, we just broke the string. Usually we try to tie a knot in it so that it's good to go for the next one, but uh... That... was a no. Copy! Now I'm gonna take the quote total wisdom. Always check with your optometrist. We put random shit in your eyeball. That is so true. So true. I told you, Jeff, that you shouldn't pick random objects off the parking lot and put it in your eyeball. Just because there are eye drops left in the random eyedropper doesn't mean you should use them. No, that I, that's I'm sorry, dude. That sucks. I had a cosplay idea where my costume would be half white and half black dragon uh, suit with blades that came out of a cannon. You sound like a Gundam. <laughs> and I am going to pin these through my finger through my finger I got it <laughs> got it that was the sound that I needed to make to get it had eye surgery yesterday and got to wear the iPad to our polling center to vote did you feel like a pirate I, I, and again, maybe it's just because I have the maturity of, like, a toddler. I would, I would have been, our thanks. Oh, I see. <laughs> but then again, I don't right now. <laughs> oh. Hmm. 
Michigan's... Actually, I was, you know what? I wasn't going to say this, but I really don't care where you guys stand on this topic because uh, my channel, my rules. Um, Michigan passed a law that even if Roe v. Wade um, <laughs> gets, uh, you know, abortion will not be legal. Illegal. Abortion will not be illegal in the state of Michigan for the boop to boop. So, like, yay, yay. There is so many. Not every situation is black and white, and I, I just. <sighs> so, yay for women's uh, reproductive rights. That's where I stand. And if you got a problem with my vagina, GTFO. <laughs> they, just in case. Just in case. Yep. Yep. Just because, like, we can't F around with this. Um. I'm a what, uh, Tectone? What's Tectone? Tectone. Tectone. <laughs> kind of like Taka. talking about about the uh, I think the demon lord one comes out on a different day oh no that is there how come it's not on the watch list we do have one episode to watch the exciting festival interesting forgot to Watch the newest episode of uh, Delimon Recipe for Happiness. I want Overlord to come out like yesterday. Oh, didn't mean to click on that. Okay, so before I do much of anything else, I need to take a photo. Oh, Thomas isn't here. Look at Thomas. I've got, I don't even have to get up. This is how lazy we've gotten. I should check it though. Oh, turned out great. Actually, here, hold on. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit. We zoomed out. It was the exact opposite. Perfect. Oh, we should remove this. We'll stage this here. When you can tag companies, <laughs> it's always good. There we go. Silly, you might think. That takes so less time to just take the photos that way than to have to like walk all the way around, sight it up. I could just snap the picture, see if it is of quality for us. Make sure you're pinning in the right direction. Well, I'm hand sewing this. So every direction is right when these little, little, little 
phalanges are at work. <laughs> um, now we're going to end up doing a ladder stitch through the whole entire thing on the inside. But like, oh, that just... It's going to look so good. Mm, 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 mm. So scrum diddly umptious. <laughs> Is everything alright with you? <laughs> just... Some people really get jazzed about food. Others really get jazzed about art. It happens. It happens. Ow. We're fine. Okay. It's okay. I meant to do that. The finger was in the way. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> and by pinning that too, I'm able to pull taut. Well, not too taut, but pull tautly on our bias tape. That way we don't have any extra slack. I'm not even worrying about pinning all the way through the bias tape. I'm just worrying about pinning it down initially. Ooh. Uh, Disfusion still will not yuck your yum, proving it doesn't harm others. <laughs> and we did take that stink bug and put him outside. Lucifer. <laughs> I just want to play with stuff. <laughs> uh, so much cleaning always involved. Oh. Uh, Cosplay supplies on box. Oh man. Oh, April 4th. Oh, they're starting to get dates on them now? Oh man. Because, you know, having one, two, three cameras isn't enough. Let me take my cell phone out quickly. <laughs> um, because you may not have noticed, but we started an Instagram stories for all of our Magda stuff. So I, uh, I need to... documenting all this including you guys not me though oh I can't hide I'm like I'll just hide out of the <laughs> oh, we'll just put ourselves in it then there we go make it look deliberate just covers. Oh, it's so perfect. <laughs> Maria, this great. Bias tape, your 
the width is just phenomenal. Because we had that little contraption. You know what? I I will wait. We'll wait to put this in. Um, we'll sew them up. suggested that and I've been trying to do it when I oh the the dates nice idea Chrissy good idea I think I'm gonna start from the center work my way yep what I'm gonna do and we'll make sure too that because then we'll only have to work with half of the amount of string I mean what if we were gonna be doing the whole piece in one go <laughs> I'll hide all of my knots on the back side the inside underneath the bias tape too because secret secret thinking it might be time to I'm enjoying this music but I'm thinking I might also enjoy uh, switching it up a little bit is it noon yet? almost almost alright before I just had to put the thread in the project and so my raiders we have a hundred and seven al a hundred and seven allies on the field for a one cell battle extraordinaire all right my melee friends take the uh the buffering the why do buffing i want to call it buffing it just sounds better take the blessing take the uh Spell? I think that's what they're called. They're called Captain Spells. Take my spell! No, it basic. Take my spell almost kind of sounds like you're telling somebody to take. Never mind. Never mind. Nope. I'm gonna just take a hydrate. I'm gonna put myself in a hydrate. Hydrate timeout. Mm -hmm. And we will also. Those photos that we took. We'll put one up on social media. I can't get down on TikTok, so... making a post saying, I like my seams less, edges mitered. There is no other way. <laughs> yes, just kind of like a mitered saw. Uh, it's like a table saw. The mitered table saw is 11 kills and 14 assists. Anemius, please enjoy the vampire scroll. Is where it comes from, because uh, with a mitered table saw, you usually use it to make your angled cuts. Um, 
it literally pivots on like a protractor, a table protractor. But it's so that, you know, you make those edges, whether or not they be two 45 degree angle cuts, so they come together to make a 90 degree, you know, frame joining. That's what I'm doing here with my mitered edges. I want those mitered corners. I want that perfect center seam. <laughs> it causes me so much headache sometimes, but it's a necessity. It's an absolute flipping necessity, uh, I, I believe. That's why we had to learn to make it that acute of an inside corner. There had to be a, a trick to it. Somebody else understands the important, how imperative it is. All right, friends, let's, uh, let's just plug them all down here on the bottom. Enemies will reveal over time. <laughs> Would you believe this knows headaches? <laughs> Children. Children, I tell you. Oh, hold on, I was gonna make a post. Here, you guys can be part of it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna sneeze. You guys can be a part of that too. It was a big sneeze. You know it was. Admit it. Where's my grayscale? That looks bad. We'll center it. Center it. We're going to do an arrow. like that right there look at that and then we go nope done with that we go here and we go with the hashtag because we need one of those it has to go hashtag tenocon sorry hashtag twitchcon i've got tenocon on my brain as we're making twitchcon adds it to our stories. Measure twice, cut once, any spelling errors? Ooh, probably. There was a spelling error on that first story that I spent out, but I thought to myself, nah. Probably. That's how I like them. That's how I like my story posts. Riddled with spelling errors that you can't go back and update. <laughs> Now I've got to figure out where the center of this is, and we're going to come up. <laughs> and I'm going to grab it along its edge here. At least I thought I was going to. I was going to and I want to slide just there we go oh come on <laughs> and then we'll go down As I do this, I'm like, I hope I don't have to do this that often. Visa. These are gonna suck. <laughs> yeah, they do a whole bunch of them. to the edge. I wonder if you guys can get a little closer. 
so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> And I will use my finger, so I'm going to place my needle in front of that stitch. And as it goes down, I want it to almost try to grab that bias tape that's on the other side. And I'll use my other hand to make sure that that doesn't happen. <laughs> doesn't happen. pin on the other side is doing a great job of getting in my way. <laughs> but I want to make sure that these stitches that I'm doing are so small that there won't be any... Yeah, I saw you. I saw you not laying down straight. But see, like, how it's laying down straight there now? Eventually, I'll be able to remove some of these pins. <laughs> so when it's a small project like this, flipping it back and forth is no problem. But when it's a large project like Moxie, it gets a little overbearing at times. We're gonna be doing this same process to the wings of the moths as well. I already know that's going to happen. And I always wanna pull in the opposite direction of the stitches. I don't wanna pull it perpendicular. I want to keep the, the tugging of my stitches to be parallel to what I am doing. I did go through. Out the way. Everything's fine and dandy, then just, just jousts my finger with that, that needle. Oh, man. So, chances are I will not get both of these finished uh, for a stream. So we're actually going to be doing our TwitchCon cosplays very much so, kind of how I used to handle my uh, art classrooms. We will be finished with this task next time you guys see me on Monday. So, like, if I have to keep stitching uh, this next one tomorrow, you know, after stream, it will be good to go. That way, you guys aren't watching this twice. Uh, if it was a bigger section or a bigger part of the costume, um, by all means, 
you're in it for the long haul. Um, but for this little piece, <laughs> I know it's very tedious. Anything that is visible from the outside. <laughs> Jedi business, go back to your drinks. That it is, that it is. Complete Jedi business, Thomas. Especially since I've been using your camera recommendation oh what do we need to take a photo Thomas while I'm working <laughs> hold on hold on hold on okay hold on that was a bad example I should probably like get it into a, like a take a photo of me angle photo taken turning camera on didn't even have to get up. You've assisted me, Thomas, with getting that auto clicker. <laughs> Never having to stand again. <laughs> oh. No, but that, that was a great recommendation. It's... So I've noticed uh, it came with two of these cords. Randall for 1,800 and <laughs> For the jabbing. <laughs> for the finger jabbing. Thanks for those biddies. <laughs> oh, look it. Since I brought the camera closer, you guys can see the, the texture better today. Like that spider texture and how there's a little bit of glitter or something on it. Um. It came with two wires, so I actually can make it like even longer. I've noticed that sometimes it doesn't to hit or miss with the extra extension. But yeah, no, that's lovely. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. Don't want a knot in your string. Not at this point. Not what we're going. <laughs> Get it? Not what we're going for there, Randall. <laughs> this has got jokes. the thread in front <laughs> and since that went pin too gave a bump in my my bias tape we'll remove it As we get away from the center, this will become a little bit easier. <laughs> Sometimes I kind of want to use, I'm sitting here, I'm like, can I just use this? <laughs> uh, maybe. I 
I use mine for super long exposures in the dark. That makes sense. That makes sense. Mine's just... Because the girl just doesn't want to stand up. And I felt uh, mischievous because in the paperwork for the camera, it says, you know, make sure that you buy only Canon products. So I just assumed like, oh, well, that'll never happen. So the fact that she's like, no, aftermarkets work perfectly fine too. I just, I had no clue. I was so young. Still so naive. <laughs> She's got to persuade the needle to do what you want. What you, what you, what you want. Hold on one second. My nose is running and I have to go catch it. <laughs> but really, it was. Ugh, still is. Ugh. Nose, why you do this to me? All right, I'm better. I think I can get this pulled a little bit more smoothly. These clips will give me a little bit more room to move. See how there's some slack there? Yeah. Pins do a great job of holding it down to make sure that nothing's going to move. I'm literally pinning through the fabric. But as we do this, I am uh, I'm pulling a little bit, making sure that, you know, if you look on this side, there's bumps to it because I've literally weaved a piece of metal uh, through, you know, fabric. This is a little bit cleaner. Uh, but again, just because I'm pulling it this way doesn't mean it can't pull itself back. So we just gotta be, be kind about how much we are playing with these ends. I also shouldn't have the issue with the pin or the thread getting stuck to the clips as much. I say that now, but we shall see. trying to make sure that we're pulling the thread through our project. Both strings. And I know that you're like, oh, look it. You guys haven't gotten, but look it, we did this much. We got far. <laughs> A 
all I get done in time for TwitchCon are these pockets in the corset. I would giggle. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. But it would seem on point. <laughs> Only products in the shutter? Okay, okay. Just a button. No, 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 no. That's what you told me back then, too. Photography is one of those art forms. It was in a completely different class and world of its own, you know, different art form to put a different array of money into. Uh, when I was going to school, a lot of people who did photography didn't do painting and vice versa because you either toted around your camera set or you, you know, toted around your paints and, and drawing sets. So. I, I always just assumed that it was photography was above me. It was more than I would be able to comprehend and all of that. And, uh, I've been pleasantly, pleasantly uh, surprised by... We're learning. We're learning. This year I've been playing with the... More so, playing with the manual settings. I told myself, what are you really going to F up? There's always like a reset. <laughs> There's always a reset button. Um... So like that was my I'm like oh what if I what if I play with it and it doesn't go back and I'm like there's always a manual button you'll be an auto like you'll be fine and so I've, I've gotten a little bit more comfortable with playing with the the manual settings in the camera especially um, for our, our makeup down uh, downstairs sometimes it's like hit or miss and so like I almost had to kind of get out of my comfort zone and realize that different settings. Bunch of, bunch of string on the other side of that. No, 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 no. Making sure that we're not pulling this too tight as well. But look at how nice that looks. And then we'll hit it with an iron after we've pressed it down. So like if there's any like folding discrepancies around here, it'll just look so clean. Well, little, little black widow. Uh it's all about learning the lighting changes. Well, <sighs> the numbers <laughs> and what like the abbreviated things mean I just keep them like, I'll rotate something one way and go okay that's not what I want let's rotate it the other direction let's spin the wheel in the other direction then I like take one or two clicks to change settings and then take a uh, take a photo and if it doesn't look like it's any different I'll go and change the settings again so trial and error uh, now that you know COVID is kind of I guess there's probably online courses too that one could could use. I keep uh online. Yeah, that's a thing. We use the internet these days for almost everything, right? <laughs> right on the edge. sensitive the sensor is 
lower number slower, higher number is faster, but can become noisy and grainy. Okay. And I think we were having issues with the being like grainy in the background. Um, it's all about learning the light changes with each setting. And then uh, post processing too. Yeah. We were talking about Photoshop earlier. How's our Stream Raiders battle coming along? Ooh, less than five minutes. Oh no, did I go through? Oh no, I did. Double back and then uh, just we gotta make sure that everything up to this point is like on point. So we will not be able to. Uh... We'll check in with you later, Dis have to feed the little munchkins. Oh, yep, you you feed your little knee goblins, and I will uh, talk to you later, Zalia. <laughs> you, your little knee goblins. Tell them I said hello, <laughs> little Zalia lights. They watch stream for a little bit and they're like, she's boring. All she does is so. I know, kids. I know. But if you're eating peanut butter and jelly, make sure that you share some with Puck because Puck really loves peanut butter. Anemius and I will sometimes play uh, and do the voice voices of our cats because that's not weird, right? Okay, cool. As long as we're all underneath that, it's not weird. And so this morning, Anemius comes out of the kitchen and does the st uh, Puck's voice and goes, Mom, Dad got peanut butter all over my face. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah. <laughs> So it would be S E W, yeah. I think sow is isn't that like a pig? I think a sow is a a pig in our language. Maybe. I don't know. I don't work on a farm. She's so so. <laughs> It might be a female pig, yes. Ah, yeah, okay, 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 see? Just call me Farmer Dip. Y'all. <laughs> I, I almost said huzzah, thinking that that was... <laughs> Just call me Farmer Dip. Huzzah! No, <laughs> I could, 
Uh, confirmed. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Sounds like someone has a. Uh... Oh, for gardening? No, I. Uh, last year, I grew tomatoes. Okay, no, let me correct that. I grew grape tomatoes and green beans. Now, granite. My green beans, I probably should have harvested them like months before I did. And my tomatoes just kept growing into the fall and winter. Uh, so we just had to tear those guys down. Uh, I also learned too that you don't plant so many uh, seeds together. Who would have thought there's a limit? So, uh. <laughs> well, I thought it was a good pun on slow and so. Yeah, I, I'm a very slow so where I just I want it to be perfect I want like basically I want one of those old biddies that you see at the bingo hall who also does uh like a like alterations on the side just because she's bored at home and doesn't have to worry about grandbabies and watching them um I want to be able to like give one of those ladies my project and them to be like This is nice. Like, I want them to... Can you find something wrong, old lady? No, you can't. <laughs> That's, uh... <laughs> uh... I just want it to be... Painless. Hey! Because it's kind of what we're doing here. All right, my friends. Let's place high ground down. I see we've got a... Titan's got a epic archer. So, take that. Take that blessing spell. Did you brush... The teeth on your tomato plants? What are you even talking about? Brush the teeth on your tomato plants? <laughs> they grew in a vine, but then they kind of all grew together because I planted way too many seeds. Did I brush my tomato plants? I, I even forgot to water it some days. Sanimi has had to to pick up my slack on on gardening. <laughs> just get all sneezy. I want to eat tomatoes, but I just keep sneezing. <laughs> uh, wow, with so much gold, fifteen gold, nine kills, seven assists, Bua, and then we're gonna randomly grant gold to everybody else, or at least to Titan, Wayne Weasel, Rancidious Gaming, and uh, Alan Todd. Silver chest. Can I do my centurion yet? I can. Centurion on the field. Go get him, little buddy. Ooh, and I did what I was supposed to do. I just did like a mouth burp. Not that you guys needed to know, and it so tasted like Cheerios, and I didn't appreciate that at all. <laughs> now you know. And I feel like uh, you're wiser. <laughs> because of that. Level. Let's see. Nope, 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 nope. An archer down here. Ooh, a vampire right here. Okay. Any spells? No. That was my second big yawn of stream. I think... Ooh, sleep frame. I like it. You dared to be different and you went on the other side. Uh, the reason I also put uh, little markers down is because I'll zoom in on one side too. You do what you want to do. It's all right. You do what you want to do. We're going to stitch all the way up to here, and then I'm going to... Well, I said all the way up to here, and then I'm going to take a, a break. <laughs> These are things that I don't want to just start and stop. I want to make sure that we get to an appropriate place to start and stop. I have a tendency of stopping in the middle of things. And then when I come back to them, I will mess it up. I I wish that wasn't that is exactly what I do. <laughs> it doesn't 
doesn't matter how many years or what it is, whether it's painting or any art form, anything, data entry. I take a break in the middle of what I'm doing. I will mess it up. And then when we take our break and come back to, we'll switch up the music a little bit. We'll uh, wake up a little bit more. I'll grab a Red Bull. D&D &D stats explained with tomatoes. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I've always stood out, but operating in the shadows mostly. Hold on. No, 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 no. Yes, tomatoes are free. Okay, hold on. It's a way to pollinate them. You use an electric toothbrush to make the flowers vibrate. Oh, really, sweet frame. And they pollinate themselves. Otherwise, you don't get any fruit. I mean, I do live out, I mean, I put them outside, so, like, the bees and all that, the bugs do the pollinating for me. <laughs> I stay away from them. D&D stats explained with tomatoes. Strength is being able to crush a tomato. Dexterity is being able to drop a tomato. Constitution is being able to eat a bad tomato. Ooh, intelligence is knowing a tomato is a fruit. I did know that. Wisdom is knowing not to put a tomato in the fruit salad. Oh. No, but it's delightful on top of the salad. <laughs> Charisma is being able to sell a tomato based at a fruit salad. A tomato based fruit salad. Ooh. Ooh. Then it would just be salsa, though, right? Charisma won the book. Being able to sell. I repaired my pants yesterday by hand stitching. I uh, seen had uh, sprung it open. You're like, you know what? I just can't have my crotch butt hanging out. You know, <laughs> no one can see. Mm -hmm. Just because, and I had to put it back together. I'm a little proud of myself. I'm proud of you too. That is being able. That's the key. Being able to repair your own shiz. Being self-sufficient. When my high school students, I had uh, two girls tell me, oh my goodness, we feel so empowered. I'm like, good. And you should feel like you know how to fix a cabinet too. And you do not need to have to call your neighbor mail, your male neighbor friend over to assist. Unless you want to. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you know, and so like it was just trying to empower people to use tools that they may not use before try things one of my favorite pair of jeans growing up i had repaired with handkerchiefs like uh, like bandanas over and over and over again they looked horrendous my mother hated them I felt like I could have been Daria's. Oh, no, 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 sorry, not Daria's. I felt like I could have been uh, Donnie from the Wild Thornberry's older sister. What's her name? Debbie? Was it Debbie Thornberry? They were that destroyed of jeans. I thought I was so cool. <laughs>
so close. Thought I saw a piece that was uh, a little uh, bumped on the back there. They probably look super cool. I mean, 16 year old disc, actually, 18 year old disc still thought they looked cool. They used to be my concert. I wonder if I still have them. You guys know that I don't throw anything out. I think I throw these out. I think I threw them out. Uh, the, the winter that we moved here. So I think I was like, I'm not going to make room for these in this tiny ass closet. I think that's what happened. I downsized in my closet space so that I could have more studio space and more uh, office space. No walk-in closet. But I get a whole entire floor for the art studio and a whole entire room for the gaming and uh, like office streaming area. Not gonna lie, the closet used to be the area where Dis would go to to have her good cry moments. There is there is something to be said about having being able to walk into your closet, sitting on the floor, and having a good cry. <laughs> something to be said about that. Um, can't sit inside my closet <laughs> but technically this area is like a giant closet <laughs> oh wow there are a lot of aren't there aren't there wild thornberries I will come back here on an angle. No stray threads. And where it will be covered, I am going to place a knot. my finger here and as I pull that knot will collect so there's my inside there's my outside we'll iron it out she gonna look good and we'll do the other side when we come back It. Your girl's got some some skill. She got some. There's a little bit, a little bit in there. <laughs> and I think I can even remove that needle. Yep, that was the true, true deciding factor. Is if I can remove. 
but yeah, we'll uh, start from here, work our way back up. <sighs> Sorry, today's a little slow. I appreciate you guys keeping me company. Isn't a Tech 9 a... Oh, hold on. Were we talking about Tech 9? I like Tech 9. I did miss Tech 9. It was on Saturday with the Fillmore. Don't remind me. Technically, Techie, Tech 9, you missed Tech 9. Oh, we're insidious! I know, and I even had some friends that were like, you know, we had extra tickets. And I was just like, ow! <laughs> if I remembered, I could have hustled my own tickets. <laughs> uh, but your girl forgot. So she wasn't even there to be like, hey, I see you from like the VIP area. I like my Tech 9. Ooh, it's a sad face. That's all right. There's always next year, right? still kind of in I'm this is what I've been telling myself we're still kind of in that pandemic time right it was probably beneficial you know you would have gotten sick and not have been able to stream um had you gone and had a really good time <laughs> I am gonna snip just the tip I snipped it I did I cut it right off I cut I cut the tip right off There's our extra little piece. Throw it in the trash. <laughs> Looks real good. All right, well, it is time for me to take a quick break. I am going to take a five minute break. When I come back, we will. It's Tech 9. No, it's T E C H N 9 N E. I may or may not have put. <laughs> I may or may not have used Tech 9's music in my social media Instagram stories post this morning, reminding people that we had. I, just, I have a problem, I know. All right. Uh, give me five minutes. We'll come back. We'll do some more stream raiders. We will finish up the inside of this pocket square. Or no, why do I keep calling it a pocket square? This tie pocket. It can already hold things. Like lint and fuzz. What is in here though? Like lint and fuzz. But it can hold a it can hold my cell phone. <laughs> and I didn't realize I could hold my cell phone on the side too. So like I could definitely put some, there's some things it could I could put some things in here. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Bring it on, you guys. If we make it, if if our cosplay makes it to TwitchCon, I challenge you guys then to bring items for me to stuff in my pockets. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys in in five minutes. <sighs> So technically, sleep frame, these are already pockets that will be inside my painters, which have been used in the 18th century as pockets themselves. I didn't want to use the initial pockets because it would be like a baggy pocket that would just kind of like flap around flaccidly by my knees. And so like I thought these pockets would be more beneficial for somebody that has tiny arms um, because I can only put my hands down into like pockets that are so long. So technically, they are already pockets that will be inside sub like pockets. All right, now I'm going to go.
here. Come here. Boop, 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 boop. Oh yeah, no, that light makes my forehead look hella bright. And look at when I kind of look like I got a comb over too when I hide half my widow's peak. I like it. I like it when people come in here and tell me I got a big forehead. I go, thank you. You'd think then that that would make putting lace front wigs on easier, but it doesn't. <laughs> Still managed to get that glue inside my uh, my hairline. Sucks to get it out. <laughs> All right, uh, let's let's switch the tunes up a little bit. What's today? Today is a Tuesday. No, it's Wednesday. Why did I say Tuesday? Are we feeling spicy? <clears throat> I don't know if this is spicy music, but I just clicked on it. <coughs> <clears throat> Give me a moment. I am going to chat and have a snack. Have you guys eaten lunch today? Well, let's get to it then. Sustenance is key. Now I know. Sanimi so is like, well, hold on. Aren't you supposed to eat the meatballs too? Dis, dis, dis. The meatballs. The meatballs are the best part of that meal. Well! I'll share the meatballs with you, Sanemius, when you come home. I want to eat noodles. And I'm an adult, and if I want to eat noodles... Damn it, I'm gonna eat noodles. <laughs> but I wanted to eat noodles, apparently with chopsticks, and I didn't remember that I put oil as the base for this. So this is gonna be interesting. I did not bring a fork upstairs with me. <laughs> I just brought these! <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, I had a black bean veggie burger. It was awesome. It sounds delicious. I've been trying to uh, replace a bunch of, like, so my meatballs are turkey meatballs. I've been trying to replace a bunch of my red meat. Um, as I get older, just digesting things is taking a lot out of my tum-tum. And, uh, yeah. So I had, for Astronomicon, we went to a burger bar. And I had an incredible burger there, and it was absolutely delicious. Not the first time I've had an incredible burger. I thought I heard my cat screaming, so hold on. I thought I heard, I, correction, I thought I heard Puck screaming. Um, but yeah, I've uh, been trying to break out into the different types of meats, pseudo meats. They can't taste horrible, somebody eats them. Like, nobody would honestly make something if it tasted like garbage. Right? That's where I'm at. And I don't think that I should have chosen chopsticks as my utensil of choice. Oh, it fell out. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a Stream Raiders battle going on. This is so not a wise choice. If you'd like to place your units on the battlefield, please do so. Um, I think I need to abort. They're just so slippery. Got a little bit of bow ties. Some of them are horrible. Some of them are legit awesome, and they don't make you feel like your stomach is full of stones. Well, and, and so, like, I know that with some porks... For some reason, I I almost can feel that my stu like I can feel my body eating it from its system as it's coming back up. There's a rat. Oh, that's a night night. I was like, oh no, this will be fine. I my hand in there. I was like, just grab the chopsticks. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm asking to make a mess, Blacker. I know. I'm living on the wild side. Speaking of wild side, let's put this beverage off of the uneven surface that is this bumpy mat. Pork is the best, though. <sighs> Pulled pork, I can do. Um, but when it comes to, like, a lamb chop, I can't do it. No, like, gyros. I, I'm Armenian. <laughs> My, uh, I like, I, we love lamb. Uh, when I moved to Detroit, I started eating more gyros than I knew what to do with. And speaking of gyros, Sanemius, this weekend, if you want to go to that weird 
random ass uh, mall food court. There's like nothing in this mall, but this food court makes some bomb ass euros. <laughs> nothing. It's like a ghost town. <clears throat> All right, Streamwriter, here we go. But like those, the, like the the lamb chop. Here's the bone. I, I, I can't keep that down. I can't keep that down. I don't know, again, ignorant about where, you know, flare meats come from. I, I don't know why that part of, well, I guess it's, you know, the pork chop, like I can't, I guess it is pork chop, and I went on lamb, went on a lamb kick. Mm. Just really thinking about euros. <laughs> we sat down and I was like, mm, euros. <laughs> Tzatziki sauce for the win. I want to make my own tzatziki sauce. I feel like that would be, yeah, yeah, you know what? Being able to make gyro sauce is one thing. Being able to make kimchi is another. But tzatziki sauce, and like, I mean like some thick, two C's tzatziki sauce. I'm having like a Homer Simpson moment. All right, what do we have? Stream Raiders, 120 allies for a three skull battle. Let's put Stronghold down and dive in. There's a hookah lounge that had some really nice heroes. Why the hookah lounge? But you almost feel fortunate that you found that out. And you know what? Do you want to know what I'm sure did not age after COVID very well? Hookah lounges. <laughs> I remember going to my uh, first hookah lounge with some some friends my freshman year in college. And I'm not going to lie, my whole entire time there, I just kept thinking to myself, have you guys never been out in public before? This is not how you act in this type of establishment. <laughs> All my 18-year-old brain was thinking at the time is that I cannot believe I am here with you. Oh my goodness. Who raised you? Some people's kids. <laughs> oh man. All right. Victory was ours. Let's open up the chest. 50 gold going to Thomas for four candles and 19 assists. Oh man. Mama just really had nothing to worry about with with me. I, my brother, though, gave her the ring around. The run around. Fudge, 50 gold for you, Marincidious Gaming, Spiral Seahorse, and uh, Ox Teddington. Thanks, girl. My head, my head was, was, was screwed on. I mean, I had some anger management, and, you know, like there was a couple years where I thought, like, I knew everything, Mom, but <clears throat> other than that. Didn't, I didn't try to get away with anything too crazy. Just, just like the right amount of crazy. Nothing that would hurt myself or others. My mother also, though, <laughs> let us like if we got in trouble or did something stupid. Like we had to. I'll watch you get yourself out of it. <laughs> uh, Four skulls. I'm gonna put my. I'm gonna put them back here, though. I'm gonna put my robe down. Giving some range, or giving not range, but giving tanks melee a little bit of a go <clears throat> in the front. Who do we have in the back? Randall Thor's like, I'm back of the school bus. I like the back of the classroom. <clears throat> you can sleep back here. Nobody will catch you. <laughs> There's a, a great place for Euros next to my office, but I haven't been to the office in two years now. And you know what? I bet you you don't even really miss that Euro place that much. <laughs> it was a great place. Don't miss it. Don't miss the office. <laughs> uh, probably. <clears throat> I have to drive into city for that. Ooh. Much sad. Makes them as a wrap. Yeah, that's that's how these ones are too. That's how these ones are too. Not not so like taco, but like full on. Well, 
I might be getting it confused with the other ones. I'm not sure. No, I, th I think these ones did a, a little... It's, it's, the, it's the westernized American way of, of everything. Can you walk with it? A lot of countries, uh, it's... You don't walk and eat. And I, and I feel like that is something that we do a lot uh, here in the U.S. is walking and consuming food. Oh, I like those secret treasure restaurants nobody knows, but they just make the best grub. We had a Chinese restaurant, and the owner was so cool. He always gave us the best deep-fried chicken, fresh made, and extras of it. Also, we had deep-fried ice cream. Crazy. I've never been fortunate to enjoy some deep-fried ice cream, but I hear it's the bomb. I hear also deep-fried Oreos are the shiz, too. And the next time I go to a county fair, because I go to those frequently, I will try, because I hear that that's where they're populated. The deep-fried Oreos in the county fair. <laughs> Couldn't see where any units were, so I had to, no, you're fine. Uh, you probably were on top of things and I was taking my time. This is just, like, I would be better just to use my hands. We have nothing, nothing to like. <laughs> oh, all right, well, I'm gonna go put this downstairs. I'm gonna take you guys with me. This is not beneficial for anyone. <clears throat> Maybe we just need to learn to make our own euros. Not be... Pro not be... Or have to succumb... To other people making euros for us! Maybe? No. Oh, Puck, why do you look... No, no more music, huh? It's all right, we didn't want to listen to any more tunes. Well, that was just the longest. When I went down there, I grabbed a spoon and hastily <laughs> shoveled some some nudes in my mouth. Hello, Katai. I love deep fried ice cream. Where do you get deep fried ice cream? Like a fair? A county fair? Or is it something that, you know, you can just pick up? <laughs> Do you make it yourself? Okay, Ty. Hello, hello. Funnel cakes. Mmm, elephant ears. <laughs> Delicioso. Alright. <clears throat> Let's bring ourselves back to after we found out no. An oil-based sauced noodle is not something that I would recommend using stainless steel chopsticks for. A spoon. A re I used a big spoon. <laughs> I wasn't no teaspoon. I used a spoon to shove some food in my mouth, so don't feel bad for this one. Funnel cake and elephant ears, I miss them because of all the uh, powdered sugar. I enjoy a custard like dessert whether it be inside the donuts or the elephant ears that have a little bit of custard on top of them I just it's like pudding who doesn't like pudding on your already dessert dessert pudding <laughs> custard <laughs> oh You would think for all the conversations that we have about food, we would do more cooking streams. 
10k and I will give you guys in a uh, dessert cooking stream. I'll make a couple different different baked goods. I'll give you guys the recipes ahead of time. That way if you want to cook along with me. Mm. So when I made the French apple cake last, it I mean, it still turned out like cake, but it was a little denser. I was not able to whip up my ingredients with the same finesse. Um, I'm going to blame it on the ingredients and not the operator, but I probably did something wrong. <laughs> uh, all right. And let's bring you guys back down to my level. Pockets and pockets. I told you. No, I am making pockets uh, for pockets already. All right, well, I'm gonna get you guys into your places. There we go. Oh, guys need to be up just a little bit. Get that 90 degree angle going. Also, too, then it looks less weird on me, like visually for you guys. I'm showing you the pockets and pockets. I just have to find the pockets. So, typically, uh, in some shenanigans, uh, we're going to be making these hip guys here. They're called painters, and painters... <sighs> Lady Bridgerton! I just need to set myself inside the era for this oh the paupers the poor people would use those as their pockets because they wouldn't have the fancy dresses as lady and lord bridgerton period there we go um so the higher class individuals would have well they'd have somebody else to carry their shit one uh but painters like large pockets but could you imagine having something like that with stuff inside flapping around at your sides? Let alone, my arms wouldn't reach that long or down that far. So, yeah, I did just throw that. Uh huh. We're making these. And cosplay competitions are all about doing absurdly more than you probably need to to depict your rendition of said character. What are some... Look at us! We are making unnecessarily fantastic mitered edges. Why? Because it's all part of the game. <laughs> it's all part of the game, my friends. And we have saddled up and uh, wanna, wanna give us our shot too. And so this is all part of... Well, <clears throat> that too, I had to make our pox because some of the some of the patterns that I had initially saw and uh, used as references they come in a variety of different shapes. So I was kind of excited that we could just make a large nut sack, um, <laughs> and together it's a full ball sack. Um, <clears throat> they had them. In not only like different shapes, but with smaller cell phones. I had to make sure that this beast that I was going to try to conceal and carry, as you guys said, would fit inside my pocket. <laughs> and so it does. It literally just fits inside the pocket. It's all a girl can ask for. <laughs> <laughs> cell phone in one ID in the other because you know you're going to want an alcoholic beverage after everything is said and done dogs be barking your feet I mean <clears throat> forgot to send it to you did you all see the Bridgerton named generator making its circles no I, uh, I 
obliviously don't see any of the fun filters or anything like that. I, I just, I live in a bubble. And I probably should just pre play bingo with the, the rest of my, my years. No! Yeah. Do as I say. So we want to try to cleanly sew down. Oh, I feel like you guys are in a better placement for you, but you are taking up some of my light right now. <clears throat> there you go. Ah, much better. <laughs> it's like, I, I like can't see. Do I need to pull out my headlamp? Because I will. I will. First, you'll start with Lord or Lady, followed by your middle name. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to be fancy. First, you start. Okay. <clears throat> First, you start with Lord or Lady, followed by your middle name. From there, add the last thing you drank with Ton at the end. It's significant to signify where Lady you're from. Add of, followed by the first part of your street name with Shire tagged onto the end. <laughs> Alright, I need to write this down because that was a whole lot. Alright. Abridgement. Let's go here. So, you're going to start with Lord or Lady. Lady! And then you're going to follow it by your middle name. I'm not going to tell you guys. Not that it's a secret. I'll tell you in a couple seconds. A minute. From there, and the last thing you drink. I technically have two beverages to me. That's the last thing I drank. And then you add ton to the end of it, you said? <laughs> to signify where you are from, put of! And for some reason I made sure that of was written in cursive. And then followed by the first part of your street name with Shire. All right, so we're going to not give you our current street name because, like, you know. Uh, so we're going to use the old uh, street name in Detroit that we used to live at. <laughs> and then tagged at the end. All right. I would be Lady Anne Meoton of Electric Shire. That actually sounds legit. Lady Anne, because it's Ashley Anne. Lady Anne Mio, because instead of the Red Bull drink, I took a swig of my Mio in water mixture. And then the street that we used to live on in Detroit was Electric Street, not Electric Avenue. Do you know how many times I made that joke? The male lady didn't find it funny. <laughs> An Electric Shire. I like that. Lady Anne Meoton of Electric Shire. It still sounds, it sounds evil. I like it. Lady Anne Meoton of Electric Shire. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a what a fun <laughs> uh, we have Lord Rune Nicolinton Nicolinton of Odishire. Odishire. These sound legit <laughs> Lord John Waterton of Contessa Shire. Oh my gosh, you come from a Fancy. Sh Why do I feel like we all just have really fancy hobbit holes? <laughs> that, I just. Why do I feel like we all just live in fancy shires? <laughs> oh, Ivo. Hello. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> we were just all figuring out what our our Bridgerton 
names would be. That was, thank you, Jeff. That was fantastic. Oh, man. <laughs> but again, we're all hobbits from the Lord of the Ring. <laughs> Contessa Shia, though, that's a, that's a fancy one. Uh... Lord Andrew Bruton of Devonshire. Ooh. Lord Andrew Bruton of Devonshire. And then you slam the scepter on the ground. Now entering! Uh, I've got the hair feet down to a toe. Harry. <laughs> I was there for a second, you caught me up. I was like, what does this have to do with? And I was like, that's. Yeah, welcome to the Shire. We were talking about cloaks <laughs> earlier. I have more cloaks than I do dresses. Oh, it's a good thing we look. There's a whole lot of garbage happening on this side. Oh, don't do me like that. Why are you doing like that? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I didn't hit you guys. It wasn't me. And we're gonna pull this back through because it keeps hitting me in my finger webbing. And what I need to do is I need to roll this over so that I can tuck in that outer edge. F yeah, get it, get it, dis. Get it, you grab those fibers, yes! <laughs> I got you all, and I'm gonna pull you down. It's gonna look great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you look so good. I wonder if I could even. Oh. Do I? Do I? Hold on. I need to see if I should do something. Oh, I should. Oh, I should. I'm gonna make sure that we come up as close to that edge as possible. Yeah. And you know what? I have these same exact conversations with myself, even if you guys were not here on the other end of the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the news are you talking to me? I'm like, no, I'm not talking to you. He's like, good, because I wasn't listening. <laughs> you must get thumbs of steel after working. Uh, so I actually have pretty strong. I've got pretty strong fingers. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, no, uh, if you guys did not know, I have my degree with uh, concentrational studies in welding and painting. Uh, so I, I call them overworked hobbit hands. And when they do not have like fancy acrylics, you can see all of the scars a little bit better. Um, yeah, look at we got a this callus here was because my hands were greasy when I was cutting up chicken and I was determined to finish cutting up the chicken but the knife kept slipping into my hand so I took a, a stronger hold and uh, the metal from the top of the blade when I was just adamantly gripping it because again greasy hands it ended up slicing into uh, the blunt side of the blade uh, I was holding it so strong I was cutting into my hand and so it kind of calloused over there at the bottom part but Tis the season! It's softball season! I don't know if we'll go. I don't even know. I haven't checked to see if there's a batting cage or anything around where we moved to. 
But I will, uh, I'll get, like, underneath the fingernail is usually where I'll, I'll accidentally stick a needle while we're hand sewing. I don't mean to, it just happens. So I'm going back uh, a half stitch because the one side of this nubbin, the miter seam on the inside, is just not as strongly held down and I don't want it to want to break free. doing that, well, by doing that correctly, there. Now we're good on the back side too. That's all I wanted. It was all my, uh, over precise heart wanted. And then we're gonna tuck these in as we go. And these guys, since you were sticking out, will get snipped. Sorry, just how it goes. You didn't want to stay inside your zone. And you know what I think I'm going to do while I have this area here? This is very much so overkill, but... Yeah, I know. We're going to still do it. Where did I put my... Did I put it with the glue? I can't imagine why I would put it over here. Did I run out? Now that is completely plausible. I'm looking for my bottle of Freychuk. I'm just gonna move ya. Um, I know that I put it in a paper cup. Oh, there she is. There's a little bit left. We should put this on the grocery list. Because there's going to be items inside this bag, if something were to brush up against this inside mitered edge, would Maina have lots of Ferdinand on her body pillow? She would have Ferdinand because Ferdinand's not as old as we think he is. <laughs> or like, is not old, old elderly. No, he would, she would have another, not, no, she would have none of them. She would have the one who taught her how to read. Uh, I can't think of what his name is. Gunther? She would have Gunther as a body pillow. <laughs> I'm not even... Like, if I had to put thought into that one, she would want the gentleman who taught her how to read as a body pillow. Wow, so much thought went into that one. Final answer. <laughs> Uh, so I just put a little fray check on there just to hope that those fibers uh, won't unnecessarily find their way into the bottom of the bag. A little bit more. Maybe we'll just let that dry for a second. It's only a problem when you start interrupting. <laughs> interrupting myself. <laughs> Uh, sometimes speaking and describing out loud and hearing it back helps the process. Now, if you respond to yourself as if you are having a full conversation, oh, I, I'm a full conversationalist. I'll even have a argue with myself. Like one side of me, one part of me will be 
for this and another part will not think that it's going to work and like I need to have a full-on debate with myself as we're trying to get it done. Yeah. You guys signed up for this journey. <laughs> Yes, we do have a battle underway. Less than two minutes. I do, I, that's, that's good, that's good. I want to pull it. I need the room to shove some more needles up my finger. Fingers. Oh, that pattern piece got me. I thought that this little piece right here was a stray piece of fabric. No, it's the print. I was like, how did you, how did you not get bound down? How did I not take hold of you and, and and cut you off by now, but uh, might have a, a knot in it. Interesting. Uh-oh. Oh. See if the fiber weave, how long we can get away with this. This, however. Even if I tried to explain my chain of thought, it would be funny to them. <laughs> Honestly, the internal dialogue I have sometimes leads me to cracking up, and then I hate when people look at me and say, what's so funny? Usually, you wouldn't understand. It's legitimately an inside joke. <laughs> legitimately an inside joke. All right, Raiders, let's head on over to the battlefield. <laughs> 135 of you wonderful individuals here. Well, at least 135 of your wonderful units. We've got 53 of you wonderful individuals. Holy shit. I am so fortunate to have all of you guys drop in units with me. Let's see here. A high ground. Oh, no, no, no. I I see some wear puppies. So let's do... Let's go melee. Melee boost on four. Oh, 
collection of the balls on the pins are going to have an effect. Huh. Learning something new every day. Open the captain's chest to Saint Scrolls. Go into a so cold, so cold. 44 for 12 kills and 14 assists. Please enjoy some Saint Scrolls. I think the Saint Scrolls are better than the Centurion. It, IMO. Then we're gonna randomly grant Randall, Sleep Frame, Bua, and Win Weasel the remaining rewards. Moving right along, we're gonna hit up another four skull chest, going to a three skull. Ooh, we go four, four. Yeah, we'll go four, four. Gold chest it is. For this gold chest, I am going to drop my archer onto the field. Enemies will reveal over time. I will leave a little bit of room in front and around me for melee and tanks to drop down. Please feel free to place your units on the battlefield. Exclamation point battle or exclamation point SR. We'll pull up the link to our battlefield for you. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, welcome on in. I am Disfusional, my friends call me Dis, please feel free to do so as well. I'm an ultra widescreen gamer, but first and foremost, I am an artist and a cosplayer. You can check out more of my content outside of Twitch via that link that I just tossed into chat for you. We're working on TwitchCon, that is the name of the game. So, TwitchCon San Diego, so all of my Amsterdam friends, Amsterdam, Amsterdam, yeah. You guys are probably in a little bit more of a bind than I am. They just announced that they will be accepting entries until July 31st. So I've marked my calendar for July 30th. <laughs> and we are adding another day a week. Well, we had another cosplay day a week to our agenda as we... We'll get this done. Let's do this. We got this. We got this. Hard at work. Doing some hand sewing. Oh, this is where it's gonna be tough. Yeah. I don't know how long we're gonna be able to pull this knot through. And we'll keep giving it a shot. Eventually it's just going to break off. We will have to tie her off. I guess we should probably tie it off sooner than later, right? Oh, we might be SOL. And on that note, we are going to There's a knot in this and I will not be able to continue this. It, yeah, it's not even gonna wanna carefully tie it off. Don't want to give ourselves more of a headache than it's worth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed it in and through. And then I'm going to cut it off here. That way those will just tuck right on in. So I need to cut this off. The knot's literally right here. What a shame. Nothing we can do about it. It happens. Hasn't put us in a precarious situation. Didn't ruin anything. Just a little bit extra work. 
seems to be the name of the game. So these will attach at the top. Uh, so these will be tied around my waist. You will not see them from the outside, ever. Ever, 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 ever. They are gonna be tied within my painters. Um, the painters are going to be hemmed with origami folded embroidered moths. <laughs> I have some I have some goals. Some project goals for this pro or this cosplay. And I'm ready. careful this time. I got I got ahead of myself and we weren't paying attention. That's how a knot got in. Not get a knot in at the very beginning. How about that? gonna be hot like scalding hot oh yes I will be sweating but the whole front of my crotch will be <laughs> so at least <laughs> at least my vagina will be cool because <laughs> like the front of Magda's skirt is open so my legs will be able to cool down my thighs uh, and all of that uh, but my ass is going to be swampy yes if that is the question that you were trying to ask, Sleep Frame, yes. Here's your answer. How does that not... How did we get another knot in here already? Are you kidding me? The side just was not meant to come together with ease, eh? The first side went so great. Now it's struggled. Come on now. you guys. I am taking these clips out. I hate you, Pins. I hate you. Why are you, like, just letting me get caught on you left and freaking right? A cool no. vagina. Not to be confused with one that is socially conscious and hip to the current zeitgeist. Tristan Emus, 
exactly what it would be. Not I got him. <laughs> uh, wasn't there? There was a commercial that happened during like Funimation or Crunchyroll a couple of seasons back, and I can't remember who the actress was, but it was like a "Welcome to My Vagina" commercial. Um, and I, every single time that commercial took, I just, I laughed. I laughed hysterically. <laughs> Welcome to my vagina. Alright, if I can't stitch you in, I'm going to clip you out. I don't want to hear you complain. Silly thread. Going in. Uh, for big no no it wasn't hold on now I have to awkwardly find it <laughs> this is it if you if you awkwardly type in welcome to to my vagina commercial <laughs> on YouTube you will see the lady in her robe talking to you from inside her vagina <laughs> and this would play in between no, no no you have to google welcome to my vagina commercial and then you will get, I literally just did welcome to my vagina commercial. And the only thing I got was the commercial ad that I wanted to talk to you guys about. <laughs> but please don't do it if you don't want to. It's, it's, it's stupid. The commercial was stupid. Played doing anime. I didn't get it. It didn't make sense at all. Oh, man. Are we just listening to the same song over and over again? It kind of sounds like. No, we're not. We're actually mixing it up. Okay. Wednesday just got that redundant vibe, like. Yeah, so that, that is an EDM music trait. Doesn't it all just sound the same? R.I.P. My search history. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I mean, you could have incognito tapped that one. That's your own fault. <laughs> like a razor scooter in her vagina too. Who knew? It takes an interesting company to create a we uh, commercial like that. Anywho, I'm gonna remove these pins now since they've just been 
cutting off the back of my fingers. Now I'm going to put some clips in, making sure that we uh, pull that taut. Now I'm going to flip them upside down, that way the curved side is down. The algorithm starts here. <laughs> oh, blame me. I take full responsibility. Full responsibility. What the fudge? Like a literal <laughs> box spring <laughs> and come back to a razor scooter and a JJ. Right? Right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> It takes a strong individual to come up with that ad <laughs> and to take it seriously. To take it seriously. <laughs> oh, it just looks so clean now. I'm gonna hang a little spider off of this. Dies emotionally. <laughs> Happy flow days. <laughs> Like, because it, I think it was Funimation, because it was Funimation, like, sometimes we get the same ad over and over and over again, and, like, to just hear, welcome to my vagina, welcome to my, and I'm just like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna get some water, and as you walk away, get some water, welcome to my vagina, <laughs> hmm. Alright, thank you so much for enduring that. Back to the pockets at hand. Runs away screaming. You're welcome. Just come back, dude. Just the VJJ talk. No, I was just welcoming everybody to my vagina. <laughs> oh, I'll stop that. It, it was just, I was just trying to explain to people the stupid commercial that uh, I don't even know how we got on this conversation to begin with anymore. <laughs> I don't even know. hidden itself well. I can't believe it. Oh, isn't it moist enough in there? That's why you need the water. for your search history sleep frame, but you gotta take responsibility for this conversation. <laughs> oh man, too funny. That was how it started. That was how it started. <laughs> Feel like it was Kaguya-sama in Love is War? 
I lost this one. End of the day, Dis wins. <laughs> Just over 10 minutes until our next stream raiders battle. It is a four skull, we're moving right along. And I was mistaken, yesterday was our 21st boss battle. So four more to go until our next head on the plateau. Just a smidgen to hide the gap. Oh. And then I can just hope that this exact same, like, yay, happens over there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ktai, for that lurk. not laying flat. Urgh. I force you to lay flat. <laughs> Dear Diary, my day started like so many others. I got up, booted up my computer, and wanted to play some Stream Raiders. But then, an unexpected turn of events. Woe is me. Tis was not long before I was knee-deep in a conversation about Lord knows what in my Google search history forever tainted amongst a conversation. Bridgerton. <laughs> uh, Lady Anne Meoton of Electricshire does not give a damn about your unfortunate circumstances. That's not what I read in Lady Whistledown's paper. Oh, goodness. What did I just do? There we go. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> it's not really 
fiddled and done of Audenshire to you, madam. <laughs> good day, madam. I said good day. You know what? I completely get why we have a hard time getting to Twitch. <laughs> I appreciate all of you who, in who listen to my shenanigans daily. <laughs> require your service. Oh, man. It's a wide screen job. Are you working on something new for Tenoka? Or did you, uh, submit one of those fantastic works of art that you've done over uh, the year from last Tenoka to now? Pepper Rain? Is she gonna make an appearance? Like the Acroplasma isn't new. I've. <laughs> You're like, the lacquer is still tacky. <laughs> if I get Arca Sakura done, great. If not, no biggie. No, completely understand. Completely understand. But I too understand that sometimes, too, us, uh, we sometimes have a, a little surprise on the back burner, you know. So what's next after your bags are done holding? Well, after we've made these bags, we're going to be working on the painters, which are a couple of things. They are supposed to like be bags, but we are going to be using them as a foundational structure support for everything that we're going to be putting up on top of my hips. So what we already learned from our previous Mad Moxie cosplay is that even though your girl's got hips in a, a bum bum, when you put large belts or clothing on top of it, all of that, all of the muffin top gets pushed down too. <laughs> so, um, to make sure that we can keep the silhouette in the shape that I want, we will be using our painters. Uh, so instead of using plastic boning, I am using steel boning. I know that I am going to be putting quite a few layers onto these like painter hip shape things and i want to make sure that all of the skirts that all of the moss all the electrical the hip armor will not crush them and i will get that like waist and then the hips um we're not doing a full hoop skirt because of what's going to be in my back area um We've briefly gone over it. I'm going to be making a moth bum as my, like, bum roll, if you will. I'm just going to have a, a furry moth ass out my back end. And that will... <laughs> we we have taken her design and just amped it up a little bit. Like, what's underneath all of that? <laughs> okay. When she uses her abilities and all the moths come out from underneath her skirt and it lights up purple... That's what all those origami folded moths are supposed to represent, is that ability. They've got to come from somewhere. What, shit them out every single time she wants them? I'm sure it's supposed to be magic. But I magically made all the moths, then from my skirt, you know, attack my enemies, so to speak. So there is a reason to why I've designed her the way that I have, like, why I've embellished her original and concept designs. The way that I have. I want to make her glorious. Give her a room stopping. Like if she if she was invited to a Bridgerton ball and had to descend down a staircase, all those bitches would stop and turn. 
<laughs> she would be named the diamond of the season, like like a, an evil diamond. Maybe the black diamond of the season, but still. The moths that go on my shoulders will be big. Um, because again, if they gonna be picking my ass up, you know your girl eats snacks. So, <laughs> they need to be able to carry me. And one thing that I have personally taken note in every, and all the other Magda cosplay designs is that I'm like, ah, oh, you know what? They could have, they could have gone a little bit bigger with their, their moths on the shoulders. And when it came down to mine, I was like, I don't want, I don't want that to be something that I consider. I want to go, you know what? Maybe we should have gone a little smaller with these moths. They uh, definitely would have no tr problem traversing me across the terrain. <laughs> uh, all right, my friends, it's battle time. I do, I switched the lighting around, so like I'm getting this weird glow on the side of my forehead, but I've moved the light around, and you guys are getting a better look on uh, the project below today. See, we're getting better every single every single day, Deke. We're getting a little better with this, these double cameras now. Ooh, high ground. High ground, my friends. Lots of enemies. Let's do this. I believe in the Ribbon Mod for the Arca. Ooh. I have an Arca Plasma Ribbon Mod. I don't have an Arca Sica... Cisco. Oh my gosh, are you gonna paint a thong on it? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. Baby! That thong, 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 thong. I said I like the way you do your thing. I, I do not know why I still know all the lyrics to the thong song. <laughs> we should have lost those lyrics a long time ago. <laughs> Oh, my face is turning red as they just started coming back to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, the Berserker Scroll is gonna go to sleep frame. <sighs> oh. And then we're gonna ran lane Pua and ran City's Gaming. Please enjoy the remaining scrolls. I need to claim the Centurions. I just keep going. Hold on, what did they want me to do? Oh, 30. <sighs> Four skull, gold chest. Let's do this. Let's get some let's get some good rewards before we drop in. I'm gonna put my artillery down. Let's go. Hello! Hey! Some lyric stick. <laughs> a little too good, Randall. A little too good. Uh, they wouldn't let me bring it to uh, Tenokan if I did additional damage. Yes, I love you dearly, but I just got an ad. Can you help a husband out? No, I can't because I'm not logged into you. I'm on your computer right now. Um. Yes, I can't. No, I can't. I'm upstairs. I'm on your computer. Sorry. I'm sorry. I wish there was a way that I could uh, get your prime. I'm. Oh, I can't even because if I were to. If I were to even log out while I was streaming and log into yours, it would still ask for your security codes uh, for your two-factor authentication. I would not be able to do that while I'm streaming. Oh, it let you, it just really wanted you to watch an ad first. 
Oh, was being dumb and not let me copy. So, I'm sorry, I was like, I... Thank you for your one sixteenth of a penny. <laughs> I didn't push the ad though. They uh they pre-roll. <laughs> they pre-roll that. Like a J. Ooh. Hey, I didn't even think that, that would have been an issue, but we almost pulled on the tool there. Camping for souls. Good afternoon to you. How's your Wednesday going? How many souls do you have today? My question, though, camping for souls. Do child souls bring a uh, better market price than, say, like a uh, a used adult soul or is there wisdom with age the things that keep me awake at night wow that's a lot of souls hopefully they're not messy Some people been busy. Yes. Ah, okay. I knew it. Children's souls where it's at. you guys but I realized as I was leaning I'm like I'm probably leaning out of frame <laughs> how should rank up more the true affinity grabber <laughs> oh, no. Looking good. A little bit more to go. And I do have spider charms that uh, I've ordered. And so one charm will go on the point, and then I will. Spider charms won't get here though until July, so we've got time. Getting those units in. Thanks. 
that bias tape up just a little bit. Not through all the tool. There we go. Feed it back down. Through to the other side. Oh, and I'm going to come up right at that stitch. Oh, maybe not. Then again, maybe not. There we go. Perfect. That's all she wrote. Boy. Job alive. Hello, hello to you. Oop, can't cut if you don't take the, the protective cover off them. Hello, Job alive. Happy Wednesday. You came just in time to see how pretty it looks. I hand sewed this today. <laughs> it only took four hours and 20 minutes. Cheers, fam, cheers. Um, but the important part for this, for us, was this miter seam right here. Look at how pretty that looks. looks good and I even think I'm gonna crisscross it over a little bit that way it looks like it's closed yeah yeah it looks so good <laughs> I do think I'm gonna keep it closed and then I'm gonna try to make it so that that one then closes with the other side and then I will have a specific right and a left we're gonna just pin this stationary. Look at how pretty that mitered edge looks. Oh. And like you can't see any of our stitch marks on the outside or on the inside. Like, ugh. She came together very nicely. We hope you're doing well, Jovelai. We've just, uh, we've been talking about some weird things today during, <laughs> during stream. I don't know what's gotten into chat. It's it's really all on. <laughs> uh, oh, it's too funny. All right, let's straighten these up for right now. Back there, put this here. We will take one of these. Give us a uh, a little bit of a break from the hand sewing for just a, a minute. Just a minute. I am going to clip this into place. So I'm going to move you guys away just a little bit. And then I can actually pivot you guys. So if I rotate you. Beautiful. find the center. Now I know it's a little bit off center. There's a little bit of a salvage there that I don't want to have to deal with. I'm going to put my center down. See if there's any side. Sometimes you'll notice that one side of your bias tape may be a little bit longer than the other. It looks like we are good on this piece. I just flipped it, flopped it, and booped it, bopped it. There we go. And for the first one, I am going to pin. Again, being 
right-handed. I'm going <laughs> to move it around this way. around the fabric bend, if you will. And I know I'm gonna have to pull it taut. We don't get any bunching. It's a good thing that we want the smaller bias tape thickness with It's definitely putting us to work, though, Chobalai. Again, I hope everybody's having a wonderful, absolutely wonderful Wednesday. I appreciate you hanging out with me. As we lurk on. Lurk on. I'm trying to make a metal porcupine. So far, so good. <laughs> I like all my projects to be uh, have a have a glint of danger to them. That's why all of my pins are going outward. <laughs> With this pocket here having a piece that flips over in this direction, this one is actually going to go on my right side. That way when my hand wants to swoop in, it'll swoop in like this, underneath the flap. So this then is going to be the back. I'm going to have my bias tape overlap in this quadrant here. And a lot of the time, I'm not even catching the bottom layer of bias tape because I just need that front to hit in the right spot. And then I'll be able to gather and collect and stretch back out that backside. That's what she said. And so we will come over here. We want to make, again, a perfect mitered edge. Now I'm getting better.
I got a thing for angles. Just give me a minute or seventeen. I might end up having to stitch this down and then drop the angle on top of it. And then I got that there, and then we'll get the back side matched up. And I'm going to pin this back side down too. I took that pin out, we'll put another one in over here. I am gonna, oh, okay, so those ones are dropped down front, this that one just wasn't. That's fine. I'll put a clip, this is where I want the seam to go. So like these ends too will end up all getting encased in, so I should trim them down a bit. down. <laughs> shot. Just trying to roll our double fold bias tape over the opposite side now. It was easy on that side. My hands naturally wanted to work on that side. Not so much on this side. Fudge! Oh. Oh, man. Glad we're working with black fabric. Can't see blood. Actually, most of this project is black fabric. Won't be able to see blood. Just a little, a little sacrificial 
blood to to the cosplay gods for these pockets. with this fabric that I was going to fray and just crap all over the place as we used it for this edging, but no! Nope. She's doing her thing! <laughs> she is doing exactly what I needed to do. Yeah, see, it's, it's nicer on this side than on this side. out the mouth we know where uh, we're thinking hard <laughs> don't go into the container just grab from here <laughs> I just stuck it right through fabric. Did you put anything down? No. Just stabbed it. Tis all. straight line now, so like, there's that. <laughs> Are we sitting on the Stream Raiders battle? Ooh, two minutes. We're gonna finish this map with no problem today. Like we did 
last time, I'm like, all right, so what was, what was the, the trick? How did we get that angle the way we wanted to last time? Right. And it looks like I am gonna have to trim. We'll do the tiny scissors. Oop, I'm sorry. I just gave you guys the top of my head. that little bit off. Ow. Forgot the pins on the other side can stab you in the arm. Careful! One side done. I know I heard the chime for for stream raiders. Give me, give me a uh, a moment. I'm just finalizing our game plan. Off. And uh, we will dive into our Stream Raiders battle. Thank you kindly for your patience as I fumbled around with those last little pieces of fiber. Seven, 177, 177 allies on the field. Shut the front door. Well, let's see everyone. Ooh, I see another book. Can I get both of our books? Dun dun dun.
two enemies left. Oh. Opening up that captain's chest, 50 gold going to Sonam. Sonam for three kills and 25 assists. Dang. Sonam, thank you so much. Then we're going to randomly grant Debonair Corvus 50 gold. Running uh, spoons, Rancidious Gaming, and Sleep Frame, the remaining rewards from that chest. And here it is! Our captain's chest! This is what we've been looking, waiting for! We'll, uh, we'll dive into another map right after this. We'll just keep the party going. Keep the party a rolling. I'm gonna drop my Cerberus on the field. I'm gonna go up here. You guys thought, let's divide up into teams. This will either be a good strategy or a horrible strategy. Top team, bottom team. You guys are like, no, you idiot, we're going in the center. <laughs> Put your units wherever you would like to, my friends. Um, too funny. No diss. No. Well, alright. <laughs> I need to take a picture. Ow, I need to poke my hand. I also wanted to stand up too, because, uh. What's it look like? Oh, it looks like I just took a picture of some, uh, some pins. And really, I want to take a picture of some pins. This makes no sense. This should be in frame. That makes so much more sense. <laughs> Even better. And then, because there's also multiple social media platforms, I do a weird dance. All right, sitting down. <laughs> we all like good pinup. Ayo. Now what I'm going to do, I am going to take another pin and pin that extra piece back. This is how I, so I'm going to end up starting here. I'm going to actually stitch the piece that will be covered and hidden. And then I'm going to work my way making sure that I'm pulling my uh, border as cleanly and as taut as possible. Then I'm going to work my way down and around. And again, this pocket, since it has the slit overlapping, uh, I guess the right overlapping the left, this will be my right pocket. So this will hang down from this side here. That way I can put my hand inside of it. It'll actually hang down like here. <laughs> Don't like it. 
my hands can reach the end. That was the important part. Dis, what's at the bottom of your pocket? I don't know. Let me find out. Ooh, that's going to be perfect. That's like a, a relaxed extend. Yay. It's the pocket dance. If I had another one. <laughs> Too much fun. Too much fun. I get it. I get it. Oh, man. Oh, okay. That was a yawn. That was a yawn of yawns. To be completely honest, we are... We're going to switch gears. I need I need a change of pace from, from the hand sewing and sitting here at the table. It's a lot easier to hand sew when sitting on a couch. <laughs> Um, so this is how you see it. Hopefully Monday when you guys see these pockets. Yay, pocket pull. <laughs> Just want to make sure that uh, when you guys see these on Monday, they will be sewn all the way up, both of them. Um, but we are going to get things ready for what's arriving tomorrow at the P.O. Box. So tomorrow at the P.O. Box will be the ends for our boning here. I need to iron out the uh, sleeves for this. It's funny to believe that like this is what keeps me from crushing. Doesn't seem like it would be that like Side, though for now we're gonna keep this just don't want to keep stringing all around but my pin that I'm working with through a little bit of the side that way I don't lose it this will be uh, coming to the base, or to where the cats are with me later, so we'll just put a little goodie bag together. Oh, you know what? We did end up needing the uh, fray check, so we'll put that in our little goodie bag, too. Um, I have a way in which I bring projects down the stairs to work on, so let's get our please work on me later tray. Okay, I just had a moment because all of a sudden I'm like, why do I hear my alarm? Why do I all of a sudden hear? <laughs> How cool. All right, so what does that mean? Five minutes. Tenno. Five minutes until the Warframe International stream is going to come on. So let's click on over. Warframe International stream. And just a friendly reminder. They have special drops for today. It's easier for me to check Discord on my cell phone. That way I can tell you exactly what it is. The, the actual post in the forum was a little bit all over the place. So I tried to, from what my understanding was. <laughs> oh. Believe we hear you. All right, there we go. Yes, their fifth anniversary stream. So today... Uh, join our Spanish team and other Tenno as we celebrate five years of Warframe International Channel as part of this monu oh, momentous, a part of this momentous occasion. We are offering the, and forgive me because I don't speak Spanish, so I'm going to Bolista de Fest. De Fiesta? 
Felista de Fista uh, to viewers who tune in for 45 minutes with a chance to earn one of these rewards. A Forma, or five Universal Medallions, or an Aitana Anasa sculpture, or a Smoking Body Infemera. If I get that Smoking Body Infemera a couple times, I am going to burn this bitch down. No, <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. However, laser beams will fall from my pupils. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what it, that's what it, that's what it, uh, so again, that starts at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Universal Medallions would be a good one, too, but that, that forma, or the Anasa Iotan sculpture, and then tomorrow, you guys can see the Discord, too, <laughs> tomorrow will be prime time, and there's going to be 10 exceptional sentient cores, so that's going to be, that's going to be baller. Again, this is inside the Discord in the Warframe Updates channel. I see there's a Warframe conversations going on. Eminem's Christmas. They do exist. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Somebody got a 75% off your next platinum purchase, and they immediately in the chat, somebody's response was, they do exist. And what went through my brain was the Eminem commercial that happens during Christmas, where the uh, Santa Claus meets the Eminem's. They do exist. And then he faints, too. Translates to party bag! Ah! Running spoons, thank you so much. Did I... Did I give that, like, a, was I close at all with the Bolista de... De Fista? Ah, I got it. I, I, I'll get better. I'll get better. I tried. I tried to, to give it, like, a really good shot. Huh. Words and tongues. <laughs> I just keep throwing things back here, and now they're sliding back down at me. Ow! I just got first stabbing from the pocket. Happened in the leg. Oh, I need this. Warframe International is live. Yeah, we were just talking about the the uh, the grab bag. Just talking about the grab bag, Fudge. Gosh. Tell us something fun that we don't know already. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. My alarm went off and it threw me by surprise because we got cell phone mode up here and then we got cell phone mode over here. And so when this cell phone started playing the opening theme song to My Dress Up Darling, not only, like, does it want me just to keep listening to it? <laughs> 17 minutes left on our uh, Stream Raiders boss battle. But thank you so much, Fudge, for letting us know. We appreciate you. Hope your day's going well. Last time we saw these strips. <laughs> I'm going to put this out of the way for now because we won't need it. Perfect. All right. Did that... For those that were here when we were doing the hand sewing, I know that with the lighting and sometimes um, with my hands being close up, how transparent I am kind of blinds you guys and it makes the... But did that work to bring you guys down closer? I know it kind of like blocked your view of this hot mess, but uh, so you could see what I was doing? Good? I'm hoping. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to stay up on things. Hiccup burp. That's a weird one. All right. Let's see here. Ooh. I need this. These are the ones I messed up to, to begin with. So let's... Let's play with these guys first. thought for a second that was going to be hot and I was like I just burnt my hand but I didn't because I didn't turn it on or plug it in but it could have been could have just uh giving myself some room I don't want to knock things over if I can avoid it Who's gonna be 
be unplugged today. I guess it could be you. And technically it could be you, but I want to feel. How warm did you get? All right, yeah, and you're the one that we'll keep. But that one's a piece of crap. One of my USB bricks when I was charging my cell phone got exceptionally warm, and I thought to myself, huh, I wonder if that's something to be concerned about. <laughs> Should I be worried? Nah. What's the worst thing that could happen? She says unknowingly. Round two. Fight! I say round two because we tried this on Monday. And they ended up being too wide. Before we continue. Yeah, this is going to be stinking perfect. Okay, well. We learned! <laughs> here like we did last time. I'm just laying down the end and pinning it so she does not move on us. Thank you so much. Place those epic units down on our boss battle. Don't you dare. We are keeping it at this. There we go. Had a little bit of a hiccup in there. actually enjoy ironing any anybody in chat it's like oh you know what actually I don't mind it you're satanic Felt like I needed to assist that a bit. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this the benefit of the doubt and say that just because we folded and ironed and folded and ironed these a couple of times, that that's why we're having some issues. I don't mind ironing, but only iron at need. Yeah, yes. Even when it's just the strip, I'm like. <sighs>
my ironing face. So, how's the weather outside for you? Because I gotta say, this isn't fun. <laughs> but I appreciate you keep me company as I pull fabric through this little metal contraption and try not to burn my fingers. Why aren't you like, why aren't you just not as misty as you used to be? Not as misty as you used to be. gotta make you missed. Still counting this as a win. <laughs> Still counting it as a win. Yes, very much so. Just like a little sliver on each side. And, uh, tripod! Thank you for having a little camera arm on the back that I can put these little lightweight strips to hang on. And I know that you won't, uh, drop them or anything. <laughs> Feed our next one in. I use a pin to help feed it through. There's like a little slot on the front there to help work the fabric through. You get any resistance. <laughs> I pin the end again to this mat. This too, this was folded completely, so fingers crossed. The other one should be significantly easier to work with. Significantly easier to work with. Oh, and you go with this project over here. Keep those guys together, that way I don't have a uh, bias tape. Unclaimed bias tape all over the place. Ooh, what happened over here? I moved this camera closer too to us. You're not missing anything up the last like couple. There's the top of my head that you guys have been missing all stream. I knew it. slower. Yeah, this is... It's just gonna fold out how it wants to, this one.
trying to steam it, but I think I ran out of water. Self-steam. Oh. No, just do high steam. It might need more water. Might need more steam! More steam power, she says. Oh, too much steam power. It spilled out onto my leg. Oh my goodness, can you not close a water bottle? <laughs> we needed. Oh, you can see the steam. Hey! integrity better. Maybe. Don't know if you don't try. <laughs> Two down. Six more to go. Did we make eight of these? I think we made eight of them. This should go a lot easier now that we got steam. Yep. So much faster. Stalker mode. Being unused. Stalker mode. Stock mode. I had to switch over. I was like, oh, you're talking about the international stream. Copy. Copy, copy, copy. Copy, copy, copy. Copy, copy, kappa. Kappa, kappa, copy. Fresh fabric, it's so much easier. I actually think these ones will be fine with the single drape. I don't have to worry about what those first guys had going on. Cool. Cool. There it is, a 
say, where'd the widget go? Battle time, Raiders. All right, let's dive into this before I... I earned my next, and you know what? For it's a boss battle, let's go to the big screen. Big screen in it for a boss battle. Ooh, everybody chose, a lot of people chose the top. Ooh, some people chose the bottom. That is a big, big abominable snowman. All right. I'm gonna do a melee boost to the top. Here we go, let's go. Get him, Raiders. Nice, nine enemies left, 127 allies. We're good. <laughs> Opening up our captain's chest, 50 gold going to Sphinxy. Sphinx, 34 assists. Please enjoy the gold, and it's Sir Sphinx. There you are. And then we're gonna randomly grant Hey CME Wayne and running the remaining rewards that completes that boss chest. Since we're not in any event right now, <sighs> working on these three right here. <laughs> Almost everybody's to 20. I got, I got, I guess there are some that are a little bit further off than others, but ugh. Uh, back to here. Let's just start. Let's just start this battle. We can at least get another one in. At least start one battle. Put us one battle closer uh, for tomorrow. Let's go top. We usually do the bottom row. Mm. I'm gonna go support again and give my... Flag bear some love. All right, Raiders, place your units on the battlefield. Feel, play feel free to place them in uh, an unmarked spot. But I'm just gonna zoom in on my little flag bear here. We'll keep him in the bottom corner as I continue to iron the days away. Yes, the battle is ready to begin. Yes, 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 that was awesome. They kept uh, downing the rescue target. Oh, did they? Oh, I'm missing out. It is funny seeing them playing as the stalker. Felipe is giggling. They're having way too much fun from what I can see. Best troll ever. <laughs> Take out the target. Ah! Can you imagine the people, though, in that squad? <laughs> what an awesome five-year celebration stream. After five years, you have... You've Evolved <laughs> like a Pokemon into the Stalker. <laughs> St 
soccer mode. I didn't even check to see how far we were on our drop. All right, all right. Almost halfway there. Almost. That's where I was. I was at 48 as well, yep. let you guys know this stream raiders battle will be our last stream raiders battle for stream let's let's uh let's make that verbally known um and then after the battle i will find someone to raid and we'll move on even if we are a little bit before four o'clock um and Warframe plan for tomorrow. Do some more Steel Path kills. I'd be down for doing those Zaramon missions in uh, Steel Path mode again. That worked out. It was beneficial for both the Steel Path kills as well as farming up some of the, the quills and stuff. See what Nora drops new on our uh, agenda for the week new daily. Actually, I'll have two dailies. I'll have today's daily and then tonight's reset daily, too. So I guess last night's reset daily and tonight's day reset daily to accomplish tomorrow during stream. We'll be back up in the art studio Monday morning. As of right now, it looks like we are going to keep to a Monday, Wednesday, coming back up here, and then Tuesday, Thursday. Made the mission fail! <laughs> Mischievous! Oh my goodness. Fernanda, you are so so pretty she smiles and then I can't help but smile because she just has such like a genuine wholesome smile oh it's dev only Oh, I almost tried to pin this with it. I was like, but it's not worth the contraption. When I did Med Moxie's red dress, that yellow is one old piece of bias tape. I sewed them together on an angle, so like each piece came together on a diagonal like seam because that's just how you're supposed to buy a statement and uh yards i literally just kept 
pulling it through. Yards of it I made. And we will, for the moths, we will need to sew at least two pieces together because I don't want, I want a nice even all the way around and I don't want to have to create a seam in the middle of the wings if I can avoid it. That way the start and stop point will be where the wing inserts into the body. Again, I, I can't convey how, uh, how much I truly, truly uh, appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I know this is not Warframe, what I'm doing right now. Completely know this is not some of your guys' cups of tea. Uh, I know we're playing Stream Raiders in the background. Maybe that's what I'm trying to do to entice you guys to hang out with me a little bit. Uh, but you being here as I am working, all of you uh, in chat just does make this process so much more enjoyable and less lonely. Um, granted, I, I have crushed my fair share of Netflix building cosplays. But I don't have nearly as many giggles. Nearly. So thank you for enduring my sewing venture. Tomorrow, platinum. No worries, I'm playing Warframe. Just playing Warframe, thinking about how I'm gonna win your platinum tomorrow, Dis, it's fine. <laughs> I'm happy to see people creating their passions. I've been 3D printing for a coffee while watching. Running spoons. What are what piece are you 3D printing? May I politely pester you? Now my curiosity has been piqued. What you got? What you got on the table? That should well, actually, it might smell like burning over on your side of the monitor too. I go. We've been using this old iron, and I'm not gonna lie, kinda smells a little bit like burning upstairs right now. I'm like, well, hold up, might smell like burning where you're at. <laughs> Currently, I'm printing the Churmel, Churro Mask from Higgs and the Death Dance. Okay, I'm gonna quickly do a Google. That way I can fully appreciate the work that you're putting in. Oh! Ah! Copy. What color are you gonna paint it? Gold? Hang in there. It's a good way to get through the slow parts. That's, yeah! Hang in there. I'm glad that uh, my voice is not as boring as the lulls of your day. Yay! <laughs> At least I'm keeping you guys verbally on your toes. What did this just say? <laughs> <laughs> I've been considering throwing some uh, cable clips into the printer. Ooh. Okay. I bet you could 3D print our own uh, K clips. <laughs> gotta print it shiny. Go. Ooh, you got it. Got to print it shiny. Nice. Midas.
just felt like there really needed to be a, a wave there. Woo! But make sure that your wheelie chair is there when you go to sit back down. getting trolled by a telemarketer who says that we just tried to purchase a MacBook Pro on our Amazon account. You guys know I've sworn off Mac products. Oh, we didn't do it soon enough. They hung up on us. Bummer. You know how much I am anti-Mac products after college. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Now, if they would have said, hey, you know that AMD riser, um... You know that AMD riser package that you've been having? You've just purchased six of those by accident. I would have accidentally believed that one. Right? I was just like, uh... The good telemarketer ones. I wish I should have been quicker. I was like, ah, oh, should we take this? <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying that up, all I could think about is all the fun things that we could have said. 